Okay, we got just a just a short video clip right here at the table. Uh, I know I said that I would uh, shoot a little more, put it together first one thing or another. I didn't. I I, uh, I needed to get it get it finished, and uh, uh, of course, like I said in the last video, I, I what happened? I I guess I should have told everybody what happened. About two years ago, I had a heart attack. It's pretty serious. I like to die anyway. But they got me straightened out, and I've been doing real good. Uh, but about, I don't know, a couple of weeks back, I got to hurting again, and I had some, having some chest pains and trouble breathing. So uh, I went back to the doctor, and anyway, they, they're pretty sure that it was a blood clot trying to form on uh, one of the stents there that they put in. They put in three the first time. So uh, anyway, they, they put me on some medication, and he gave me a headache. My head, uh, that last video that I shot, my head hurt so bad when I first started it. Uh, uh, I just I couldn't hardly couldn't hardly think. Uh, it had me uh, really had me out of sorts. But anyhow, uh, they told me that it would be that way when I started taking this this new heart medication, and uh, and so I, I, uh, my body's got used to it, and it's it's a whole lot better. Uh, I've, uh, I feel better today than I have in a long time. So. Uh, the medication's working and uh, and that's great and I didn't have to go back and have more surgery and all that stuff so uh, I'm happy anyway I uh, feel pretty good today and I got the table finished now I just uh, I just got finished uh, a few minutes ago uh, putting the last coat of uh, lacquer on it this thing's got I can't remember if I put nine or ten I think I got ten coats of lacquer on this thing in total and uh, of course, uh, it, it's going to be hard to see, I'm sure, on the video. It probably won't show it. Uh, uh, get it where I can see. Uh, maybe you can see the table anyway. Uh, it's hard to see, and so it's no big deal. I just wanted to uh, just wanted to shoot another one right there and, uh, and show the thing. Uh, of course, it's dry now, and boy, it is slick. I am I'm really pleased with my finish. Uh, I've done some that wasn't all that great, and I've done some that was really good, but this one is this one's great in the I don't know if it shows up there or not, but the the grain in the different boards, of course this is this is all the glued up assembly. And I didn't try to match these. Uh, the customer's got another piece of piece of furniture that's made and uh, it's exactly the same way the the uh, when they, when they built it, somebody else did, I don't know, it's, it's an old piece. Anyway, when it got built, they didn't try to match the grain. They, they did kind of like this table here. They just put it in random. And, and so I wanted this one to match, so I didn't try to match them up or anything. I just, it just ran them. However it worked out is how it worked out. And anyway, the customer came up and looked at it yesterday and was just extremely pleased, really excited about it. And uh, especially that I told them that uh, she was going to get it this afternoon. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, that's the reason that it likes that, that, that it's not matched up here any better than it is. It's trying to match the other furniture, and it turned out it, it did. Uh, in fact, there was some there was some cracks in some of the wood, and uh, and she wanted me to leave those in there uh, because the other piece had some cracks. Of course, I stabilized them. Uh, I used. Uh, some CA glue and stabilized everything and filled the cracks, but I left them there. They just don't have to worry about it cracking anymore. But anyhow, I, I just want to show a little bit of it and uh, make this a short one. Uh, the southern I did here now. So, uh, but anyway, I, like I said, I, I don't know the the grain pattern on it looks good, and and, uh, and the legs turned out, and the pedestal. It's uh, I would have liked for it to have been uh, a little bigger pedestal but that's what they wanted and it goes with the other stuff that they got I, I, it, it, it's fine uh, I like a big one but I don't know uh, that one seems to be seems to be fine so it's, it's not my piece it's theirs so <laughs> do it the way they want to but anyhow uh, and I'll move around on it here where you can see it or not with the fluorescent light reflecting off the top of it but hey that's that's always a good thing when you get the reflection so what uh, Anyway, just thought I'd uh, shoot this right quick and get that, and I've got to get back to work and, and try to get caught up on some more stuff that I've uh, that I've got uh, 
and we got took in here. Uh, uh, now that I get to, got to feeling feeling some better, uh, still don't want to overdo it, so I'm not going to put in too many long hours for a few days. But uh, I do feel much better, and uh, I'm able to work. So I got to, got a little cabinet job coming up, and uh, still making some toys for the Authentic Appalachian Folk Toy Company. Uh, it's been been uh, been cutting out parts for those folks all along, and uh, so I've got some more of that to do. Uh, I redid. Uh, I looked around here, and I, uh, I'll probably I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, but I, while I'm talking about it, and got the camera going, uh, I'll show you this a little bit of it right here. Uh, and this is just scrap wood here, so pay attention. To this. I redid my painograph uh, for it worked just fine uh, for what it was intended, but I, I needed it. Uh, I needed it for a different purpose. Uh, I use this now to make some of the the toy parts and uh, I needed to make I needed to have mine where I could adjust the height on it without actually lifting the paintograph and this is a 3d job so because when you move it up and down if you're trying to if you're trying to cut out a part uh, then you cut them with the edge of the router bit and it goes up and down so it leaves a little ridge so anyhow, I modified the arm, made another arm, and uh, I made me another base plate for the router, and I attached it to the arm. So now I can use the uh, I can use the router function and raise it up and down and never change the height of the stylus. So if I'm cutting a piece of three quarter inch stock, uh, if I'm cutting a, a uh, dancing man, a, a limber, limberjack. They're three quarter inches thick, and that's too much to cut in one pass. So now I can bring it up and I can make a couple of passes with it, and let, you know, as I go down with the bit and cut it out, and it works great. So, anyhow, I, I got that squared away and just thought I'd throw that in there. I, I may do a little video on it later, uh, explaining what's going on. But uh, I'll uh, I'll get off here and be quiet now. So uh, I got feeling better, and I got the running off at the mouth. Anyway. <laughs> I appreciate the patience and uh, and thanks for all the comments on the last one and the well wishes. I really appreciate that. That's uh, that says a lot. It sure does. So uh, anyhow, till I get started on the next one. Thanks for watching.